Hi, my name is Steve Borelli from Conductive Labs, and we just did a Kickstarter to launch our MRCC, the MIDI Router Control Center. Um, this is a prototype of the original of what we're doing. Uh, we've got 11 inputs and 17 outputs um, that are uh, that are routable. Let's talk a minute about the inputs. So we've got uh, input jacks, the uh, 3.5 millimeter jacks for both flavors, as well as the five pin. So six of those in total. We have four USB host control so that we can use equipment that's uh, typically targeted at DAWs, but this will be great for DAWless jamming. And then a standard USB port for back up to a computer or an iPad if you, if you want to use SoftSynth. Uh, on the output side, um, we have um, 12 outputs here. Again, we support both flavors of the 3.5 jacks. Um, and, uh, and of course, MIDI is uh, MIDI over USB is bi-directional, so these are also outputs. Okay, that was I was gonna. So those are inputs and yeah, you have two buttons as inputs and outputs. So let me give you a quick demo on how how it all works. So we have a iRig keyboard here with no MIDI except for USB, so we can plug this into USB A. Um, we can by clicking this button, we choose the input. We've got a Korg over here. Korg Volca just uses an output. So we can push this in and we select that one and now it's routed. So the iRig is routed to the Korg by simply choosing these buttons. If I wanted to plug in a, um, a second controller to say to do CC manipulation, I could plug that one in here. I could choose it. Uh, this button will turn all the outputs on and off really fast. So now we're choosing C and I can route C to output two. And now this guy will manipulate the um, uh, the Korg uh, CC. So now I've just merged two inputs to one output that easily. No and computer required for any of the any of the configuration. And then the routing, you just go to your input source. Choose and then exactly. So if we wanted to route the Satoria using um, the the, the uh, 3.5 millimeter, we could just plug it in here. I choose input one. And, and it's already routed it's already to two, routed. right? I could turn it off or turn it back on. I could route this, by the way, to multiple outputs just by turning them on. Now it's routed to all oh, those wow. outputs. And by the way, they're all merged. These three inputs are merged to this one output. Um, on the screen here, if I uh, hold this button down, I get a, a, a view of all the routings um, uh, that go to the, that, all the I.O. routings. Um, in this menu system also, would you like me to jump down into that for a second? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so we can tab across this, and so there's filters. So we do clock filter, note message filter, CC message, uh, program change message, uh, stop start chain, uh, continue messages. So you uh, can filter out all those different things if you don't exactly, want to send it. Exactly, per, right? per port, per, per port, input, output coupling. Uh, we also have mappings, so we can do velocity scaling, channel mapping. Um, on the PC port, there's 16 virtual ports going back to the PC. So if you wanted to play multiple software synthesizers, you would go here to route the inputs to those virtual ports on that one physical USB port. Oh, okay. Yep. Wow. Uh, let's talk a little bit about um, form factor. So we're going to uh, sell this in two form factors. One will be a desktop form factor. It'll have a nice aluminum case, very similar to the Noodler case with the same industrial design. Here I can hold up this little if you get that, that's yeah. what our user interface will look like on the on the uh, finished product. And uh, we're also, if it looks suspiciously like a 2U product, it's because it is. So we'll also sell it in a 2U enclosure for 19-inch racks. What, what, is there anything you haven't thought of on this? <laughs> no. In fact, there's one thing I haven't told you yet. And that is, what's really odd is what is, what is this Ethernet cable doing here? Well, it's, we're using the Ethernet cable, but not for Ethernet. We have a remote here, which will be an optional uh, product. So it's got seven outputs. These outputs are mimic, mimic the, the seven normal outputs. So for instance, if you're using this in a desktop, on your desktop, and you want to put this uh, in your rack because you've got some gear there, you can put as long of a cable as you want. You plug it into the side here, and now this guy be replicates these ports. So it's it's not an expansion of the port, or is it? It's a right. It, is it's, it duplicate? It's a duplicate. Okay. Right. So if I, if you noticed, I routed everything to two. If I unplug this and plug it into two here, 
uh, now everything will work the same. Oh, got it. Both ports will be hot. Got it. Yeah, it's they're not separately routable. They're just duplicates. Yep. <clears throat> wow. So yeah. it's a little There's plenty out. of other detail, but I think that's probably a good overview for now. Yeah. Yeah. When did you did you already put, launch this on the? We Kickstarter? launched it on Kickstarter uh, yesterday, and uh, we're about a third of the way uh, su uh, supported so far. So what's your uh, like pledge levels or whatever you've got? Uh, it's two hundred and fifty right now. The first one was one ninety nine. Those went very fast. Two fifty. We have seventy five available at that. Uh, seventy five available at three hundred, and then we go to our street price of three fifty after the first two hundred um, supporters. Well, wow, it looks great. Thank you. Thank you.